Alright, so it's been a couple of weeks now since the One UI 7 beta has been released and there's been an influx of videos reviewing and criticizing it. Samsung took this criticism on board and now we have the beta 2 of One UI 7. This video shows what the beta 2 of One UI 7 brings and what you can expect in beta 3. Let's get right into it. I'll start off with the little details and then work my way up to the more important and significant changes. The icon for the restart button is seeing a change. In beta 1, it was a, it was a solid white circle, but in beta 2, it's now partially a solid white circle and is dashed with is, is dashed and grey. Other than that, there's been no changes made to its functionality or animations. Some people are experiencing bugs in their widgets in beta 1 of 1 US 7. Um, some parts of the widgets weren't looking right and some other parts just weren't functioning at all but that has been fixed in beta 2. If you go to the control center in One US 7 beta 2, you will see that the brightness slider and the volume slider are swap positions. In beta 1, the volume slider was at the top and the brightness slider was at the bottom. Samsung has decided to swap these positions around in beta 2 and put the brightness at the top and the volume at the bottom. For some reason, one of, for, for, for some odd reason, I don't know why, I'm not complaining because it doesn't really make a difference. I'm guessing they did it because they thought that people were going to use the volume slider a lot more so they put it at the bottom for the whole one handed one ui thing and the moment we've all been waiting for animations yes there has been visible changes made to the animations in beta 2 it's a lot smoother and less glitchy compared to beta 1 don't get me wrong there's still some bugs but let me explain myself it's less glitchy than beta 1 it's more responsive going in and out of apps and it's ever so close to reaching ios samsung is fully capable of reaching the smoothness that apple is capable of reaching because they've got the resources and the company is big enough to achieve that all they need to do is just focus the mind and efforts into the act into the software aspect and actually build a team dedicated to the whole animation and user experience level. There's still some hiccups because let me remind you, this is still beta software. When I say it's less glitchy, what I mean is it's less like all over the place, but you will still encounter hiccups as saying like freezing screens or just some things like freezing and not working as it should because again it is a beta software but samsung's absolutely nailed the foundation when it comes to the animations this is the foundation we need something that is bouncy feels alive and actually if and actually feels responsive some of the animations you can do in one us 7 you don't even dare to do it or try it in one us 6.1 because you just have a glitchy laggy mess as i've said samsung got that foundations right and you can expect these animations to be a lot more refined by the end of the beta run you see a much more polished version of one ui 7 that's for sure by the way if you've made it so far into the video it means you're gaining some knowledge and enjoying the video so if you could help me hit a thousand subscribers i would really appreciate it so scroll down and hit that subscribe button Thank you. Secured by Nox watermark has been removed from the app drawer now. It looks less cluttered and more professional. Why was there a watermark on such an expensive device to start with? I don't know, but I do sort of see where Samsung is coming from. I don't necessarily think the watermark was there for marketing purposes. You know what? I think Samsung put it there just as a, it serves as a reminder to the user that the phone and that all the personal data is being secured on the device by a microchip by a powerful microchip that's secure and that's a state of the art security this than the other i think that's what a watermark stands there for not for marketing but to like give the user the reassurance as in yeah all your personal data is secured on device by our state of the art microchip called nox do you get what I mean? Nonetheless, it's gone in beta 2 now, so there's that. For all my gamers out there, the screen refresh rate can now be changed from 120Hz to 60Hz whilst you're in the game. Just head over to Game Booster and under the Game Motion Smoothness, that setting will allow you to change your screen refresh rate. There's also a whole bunch of settings you can change in there now in beta 2. Beta 3 is right around the corner and don't be surprised if it comes in a matter of weeks. You should now expect Samsung to start refining the animations and overall stability of One UI 7. The official release date, which is probably January or February, is getting closer and closer and Samsung's running out of time. In short, I don't think releasing new features or easter eggs is at the top of Samsung's list for One UI 7 Beta 3. Watch this video here to find out more about the latest leaks about the S25 Ultra, the device that inspired One UI 7. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, the link is going to be in the description. And I'll catch you in the next one.